Alors, beaucoup euh, ont peur que euh, l'IA nous remplace. J'ai envie de te dire, bon, moi, je ne connais pas le futur. Il euh, y a des gens qui sont pessimistes. Il y en a d'autres qui pensent que non, ça va, et qui sont optimistes et que ça va bien se passer. J'ai en train de regarder une vidéo, euh, un interview euh, avec Andrew Ted. Bon, c'est plus une conversation, mais euh, le premier interview qu'il a fait depuis qu'il est sorti de, euh, bah, de prison. Alors non, il en a fait, alors, il a fait une autre interview euh, juste avant avec la BBC, mais bon, c'était plus un guet-apens euh, qu'autre chose. Euh. Donc, on va dire que le premier vrai interview où il a communiqué sur, euh, bah, depuis son incarcération, c'est plutôt dans, euh, dans cette interview avec Patrick Bett. Donc voilà, euh, la BBC, euh, guet-apens, voilà, bah, c'est sûr que quand tu attaques la matrice, bah, elle répond quoi. Hein. Donc là, je voulais partager euh, son avis en fait sur euh, l'IA qui, euh, en gros, il dit que bah, si jamais tu es moyen, tu vas juste te faire remplacer. Je te dirai ce que j'en pense au fur et à mesure euh, de la vidéo, mais c'est ce que je voulais partager avec toi. I saw a video by the president of Microsoft, Brandon. I think it was the president of Microsoft who said, you're going to see one of the biggest threats in the future being deep fakes. Okay. Mm. And then you saw a similar thing being said by Google, Sergey Brennan. You're going to see what's going to happen with deep fakes. And then the example of deep fakes was given by the actress from Wonder Woman. What's her name? A Gal, uh, uh, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot, right? There was a deep fake porn made of her. Then there was a deep fake uh, video made of Trump. Then there's deep fake of Joe Rogan. There's one of Morgan Freeman. Hi. I am not Morgan Freeman. Kind of goes like this. Wow. So the direction we're ça par contre c'est ouf ça. ça ça fait flipper de ouf ça les gens peuvent se faire passer pour toi normal <rire> tu te rends compte ça a dû lui faire plaisir à Wonder Woman de savoir qu'elle qu est dans un porn et qu'elle n'a jamais joué voilà c'est cadeau euh, ça par contre ça fait flipper de ouf ça j'espère qu'ils vont euh, mettre euh, je sais pas moi des... ils aiment bien toujours mettre des, des règles partout j'espère que pour cela ils vont faire quelque chose parce que là c'est quand même ouf que tout le monde puisse se faire passer pour toi normal going with deep fake, right? When it comes down to AI, yeah. where do you see the threat? Is that something you, you think about? Is that something you see as an opportunity, as a threat? And if yes, which part of it? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. Deep fakes are certainly going to change the world because what we're going to have is we're going to have a post-truth society. And then the only way they're going to be able to tell you what's true or not is some committee which decides what's true and what's a deep fake. And then they're going to be in charge of the world. And then they're going to lie to you. And then you're really in trouble. <laughs> so that's going to be very interesting. Once you get to the point where, what did I say earlier about not being able to trust your own eyes? They're going to take that away from us soon. Then what? Then you're really in trouble. Um, in regards to AI, I think it has to be adopted. Inside of my school, Hustlers University, we teach AI with absolutely everything. A lot of the images we generate, even on my Twitter account, is all AI. And what's actually scary about the modern world is, I don't consider myself old, I'm 36. But some of the children, children, I call them children, 17, 18 year olds inside of my school, Hustlers University, they're... AI wizards, and they can do magic with this stuff. Magic. Like, they can literally, genuinely, uh, uh, Andrew Tate on the moon, da -da -da, and the, the image is generated in seconds. Like, artists are going out of business. I thought AI would put truck drivers out of business. Artists are going out of business. Musicians are going out of business. It's kind of scary. I do like to think that with things like AI, there's always going to be some degree of natural separation between the men who are genuinely inventive and killers and the men who are more... Let me change the way I say that. I think if you're an exceptional person, a truly exceptional person, you don't have to be afraid of nearly anything. But mate, you'll probably agree with this. In my experience, in nearly every business in the world, you have 10% killers, and then you have a bunch who want the paycheck. They do their job, but I wouldn't say they're killers. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we, we live in a society for a long time where I can even, I even tell you now, sometimes when I hire, I'll say to, to my cousin or to my, my CLO, I'll say, look, either get one killer or three normal people. Because that's the reality, that's the basic, you either need three people to half do the job or you need one killer to do the job. And I think that those three people who half do their jobs, enough to not get fired, they turn up most of the on time, but they're not really that motivated. Those are the ones who have to fear AI. I think businesses in the, near, in the medium term are going to become killers at AI. I tell them now, I have some, some guys who work for me on one particular company and their sales staff. I was reading through the sales scripts. The killers doing really well but the average guys have said you're not doing much better than chat gpt could do right now i want to warn you that you're not doing much better than i could replace you with a machine today let alone in five years from now for free you need to be careful so i think it's just becoming more and more competitive the idea that you can just be joe schmo do your job turn up i don't try that hard it's fine i think that's all going to go out the window because as the world becomes more competitive as a company you have to compete with your competitors and the only way you're going to be able to do that is just where do you cut the flat fat where do you cut the flat When I see AI popping up and getting more and more intelligent in the way it's talking, that doesn't scare me. 
Bible away with words. If I was Joe Schmo, I'd be afraid. This chat GPT could probably text your girl better than you can. <laughs> <laughs> En fait, là, sur ce qu'il dit, je... alors d'une manière générale, de ne pas être un gars dans la moyenne, c'est clair qu'aujourd'hui, que ce soit pour les relations de femmes ou même pour le business, c'est sûr que c'est pas bon. Mais là, par contre, le... de croire que tu peux rentrer en compétition contre l'IA, je ne suis pas sûr. Je pense que les choses vont changer dans le futur et ce qui était euh, valorisé avant ne sera pas valorisé de la même manière puisque juste avec euh, un robot, euh, bah, tu pourras, euh, je sais pas, par exemple avant c'était valorisé peut-être les gens qui parlaient, euh, qui écrivaient bien, qui avaient une bonne orthographe. Bon, bah, aujourd'hui, dans le futur, ce sera plus valorisé. Je pense déjà dès aujourd'hui, ce n'est déjà plus valorisé. Donc euh, je pense même si tu es un killer en orthographe, comme il dit, euh, tu vas quand même perdre ton job. Si jamais tu crois que tu, tu vas rentrer en compétition contre ChatGPT en fait, ou contre l'intelligence artificielle. Et surtout qu'en plus là on est au balbutiement de, de, de l'intelligence artificielle. Donc, euh, et ça va super vite. Donc euh, même un gars qui n'est pas, euh, pas average, enfin qui n'est pas euh, moyen et qui est un codeur par exemple, vu comment ChatGPT peut coder là aujourd'hui, Enfin, alors peut-être encore, il y en a, j'avais vu un gars qui avait fait un test, un codeur qui a dit, ouais, franchement, c'est quand même du bon job. Il ne peut encore pas remplacer les excellents codeurs, codeurs mais eh, c'est quand même du bon job ce qu'il a fait. Donc, euh, dans un an ou dans même deux ans, allez, si je te laisse large, si tu veux, dans deux ans, l'intelligence artificielle va coder, c'est sûr. Je ne sais pas dans combien de temps, mais dans pas longtemps, il va coder aussi bien qu'un excellent codeur. Donc, euh, là-dessus, je ne suis pas forcément d'accord. Euh, Penser être en compétition contre, euh, contre l'intelligence artificielle, ça va être compliqué. Par contre, ce que je pense qui est, qui est important pour ne pas se faire remplacer, pour ne pas perdre son travail, c'est que, euh, bah, que la personne qui est « average » ou même « killer », le « killer » comme il dit, doit utiliser l'intelligence artificielle aujourd'hui euh, au quotidien, dans son quotidien, pour pouvoir améliorer ses performances. Ça, c'est sûr. Mais si jamais tu veux être dans ton coin comme ça, être en compétition contre l'intelligence artificielle, euh, tu as perdu d'avance, c'est sûr que tu vas te faire remplacer. Really needs to struggle, and I've been saying this has been my message for a very long time in all realms. I've said for a very long time that life for the average man is going to get harder and harder. It's becoming more and more competitive. You need to find more and more ways to stand out and be unique. And the only way to really do those things, unfortunately, as a man, is to suffer. And that's one of the reasons I'm kind of glad that God put me in jail because if you look at anything that builds a man into a man, there's a degree of suffering. It's very hard to become a man and have a man who's uh, respected and has stories and is capable when he only had a nice life. Je suis là, je suis super d'accord avec ce qu'il dit. En général, regarde bien toutes les personnes qui ont vraiment des, des, des gros succès, elles ont toujours eu un passé euh, chaotique. Souvent, souvent, souvent. C'est vraiment rare un gars que toute sa vie, tout s'est bien passé, il n'a jamais eu trop de problèmes. Tu as toujours des gens qui... Leur histoire, il y, a, il y a toujours eu... C'est toujours chaotique. Souvent, en tout cas. Nice experiences. It's usually the things that made you the best version of you are usually the worst things that happened to you. So the demons I carry from jail, the fact I can't sleep, the fact I can't sleep, I've had girls say to me, you can't sleep, you need to see a psychiatrist. And I said, absolutely not. I would be furious if a psychiatrist walked in here and took my demons from me. I don't care if they could fix me with a click, they're mine. And they were bestowed to me by God. And they are mine to deal with and they are mine to fix because that's how I become a better version of me. I would be furious if someone took them away from me. I'm glad I can't sleep. Good, I can train endlessly. That's why I'm bigger than I've ever been. I'll train every, I'm not going to waste a minute. But all the demons that have been given to me by God and all the problems that have been given to me by God are mine to fix. I would never ever allow anybody else to take them from me. I'd be furious. If a psychologist came in and said I could cure you, I'd say, no, thank you. I will cure myself. I don't care if it takes 10 years. I'll cure myself. That's my job. And I know that when that's done, I will be more mentally resilient than I ever would have been without you. That's the whole point of it, right? So many men say, I want to be the man, but they don't want to suffer. They don't want to fight. And I don't understand why, because even if you look at a superhero movie, they tell you, even in superhero movies, they make it very clear. Batman's parents died. That's why he's Batman. All the bad things have to happen. There's no way to get there without the bad things. I get so many emails from people complaining about their bad things. And I, I don't have time to reply to any of them. But if I could, I'd say, good. Good luck. Congratulations. Off you go. Of course, you broke your heart. Of course you're sad, of course you miss her. She's with me now. That's life. That's part of it. That's the only way you're going to get to that level of resilience. You can't become the man any other way. So yeah, I, I, I thank God for everything bad that's ever happened to me and, and all the demons. And I, 
I trust that he's not going to give me anything I cannot, in the end, decipher and deal with. In the end, I think it's a puzzle, and you decipher it, and you work out the best way to deal with it, and you internalize the good parts, and you become a better and stronger and more resilient person for it. So I have to thank God for every single one of them. Well, I mean, you got to go through shit to be the shit. That's basically what it is. And, and by, the way, by the way, what you're saying is not a hypothetical. You talk about being the average man. You see this play out on dating apps these days. Have you seen what's happened, especially on Instagram and on all the dating apps, Hinge, Bumble, and out there? The top guys out there yeah. are getting 90% of the women, whereas the bottom guys, I think the stats are a third of men under 30 have not been laid in a year. If being average is not acceptable anymore. At, at all. It's not acceptable anymore. And it's not it's not acceptable in the sexual marketplace, but it's also just not acceptable, I don't think, even in life anymore. Period. You have to diversify now so much to even protect yourself. The idea that you can just be a law-abiding citizen in a country and just work your job and be okay is gone. Ça, ça je suis super, là je suis, je suis d'accord. <rire> je suis complètement d'accord. Tu vois, là il a sorti le... le... La stat que je te sors à chaque fois, et ouais, 20%, 10% des hommes ont, ont, ont accès à 80%, 90% des femmes. Pendant que les 80 autres pourcents des hommes bah, galèrent. Avant, tu pouvais être un, un gars moyen et avoir une vie, une vie correcte, une vie ok, tu vois. Mais aujourd'hui, c'est de plus en plus difficile. C'est pour ça que les gars, ils sont, ils sont, ils sont frustrés. C'est pour ça que des hommes comme Andrew Tate, qui prônent la masculinité, de, de faire revenir des hommes, bah, des vrais hommes. Hein, et ça arrangerait, je pense, que tout le monde, hein, que ce soit les femmes et que, que ce soit les hommes. Eh ben c'est pour ça qu'il a autant de succès, parce que tout le monde est perdu aujourd'hui en fait. Donc ouais, aujourd'hui c'est pas acceptable, tu, 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 je vois pas comment tu peux, à moins que tu veux vraiment une vie vraiment éclatée, mais je vois pas, si tu, tu restes un gars moyen, tu es personne, mais euh, que ça soit dans le dating market ou que ça soit dans, dans la vie d'une manière générale, personne te respecte, personne te, 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 te considère, tout le monde se moque de toi, mais un masque retire, enfin, et les meufs elles te calculent pas, donc enfin, être... Un gars moyen aujourd'hui, franchement, euh, bonne chance. Hein. It's gone. If COVID doesn't prove that, I don't know what will. Yeah. Look at my situation. You have to diversify. You have to be smart enough that you have assets and friends and, and, and capability and, and lawyers and whatever all over the world now. That's the only way to protect yourself. You can't just sit within jur one jurisdiction and go, oh, well, but I don't speed, so it's going to be okay. I don't think it is. I think it's coming to a point where it's not going to be okay. And AI is going to make it harder and harder again for those average men. It's going to be harder and harder. I don't think the exceptional men are ever going to suffer from AI. I think we're going to use AI. I think this whole neural link that uh, Elon Musk just got the approval for, for the patent. So now the sale is going to be, look, no matter what you do, John, you will never be like Andrew Tate. Yeah. But if yeah. you take Scary. this neural link, Scary. GT500 slash Tate, You're able to get upgraded to his levels and think like him and I'll think and do this and do that for only $49,000. Bref, euh, donc voilà, c'est ce que je voulais partager euh, avec toi. Dis-moi ce que tu en penses, que tu penses que euh, on va être remplacé euh, par l'intelligence artificielle ou pas. Euh, Laisse-moi euh, bah, ta pensée par rapport à ça. Euh, N'hésite pas à mettre un j'aime si tu aimé cette vidéo. Pour tous ceux qui veulent aller plus loin avec moi, t'as mon étude de cas où je te montre comment j'ai fait 20 cas en une semaine. C'est gratuit, c'est offert avant de créer un acte. Regarde quand même. Et mon groupe des 10%, okay, euh, qui s'appelle Zion, où je te partage toutes les stratégies euh, pour pouvoir euh, bah, monter ton business en ligne, euh, les stratégies pour atteindre au minimum les 5 cas par mois, euh, comment investir en immobilier, les startups, euh, comment investir euh, dans quoi encore euh, les crypto-monnaies, euh, comment traiter les crypto-monnaies, enfin tu as accès à tout ce qu'il faut pour pouvoir te lancer, tout, toutes les stratégies modernes sur internet pour pouvoir euh, faire de l'argent, il euh, y a pratiquement tout euh, dans le groupe. Donc euh, voilà les gars, c'est tout pour cette vidéo, on lâche rien et on reste déterminé, il y a eux et à nous, je suis à ton camp. Mmh.